time for another edition of Wisdom from the Word. Typically, we'll examine a proverb or two to find practical help for daily living. I'm not going to be in Proverbs today, but I'm going to be in Ecclesiastes, which is also written by Solomon. It's just to the right of the book of Proverbs. Today's passage we're going to see is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 12, which talks about not letting our conversations go downhill. In this chapter, Solomon repeatedly mentions that the words of, fool, of fools are not just endless and empty, but their words can consume them and swallow them up. Let's read verse 12. Chapter 10, verse 12, it says, The words of a wise man's mouth win him favor. The lips of a fool consume him. Let's start with the fool. How do the words of a fool consume him? Maybe you've been in a conversation that's gone downhill. Well, how did it happen? Maybe it was the topic of conversation, or maybe it was the language that was used, whether it was crude or profane. Maybe you allowed your temper to flare up just a little bit. More often than not, this happens because of the lack of a filter between our mind and our mouths. Unless we make a deliberate attempt to wisely control the comments coming out of our mouths and keep them pure, their conversations will foolishly go downhill. Before long, we along with the other fools will be consumed or swallowed up with our words. Because of our sinful nature, that's just the way it is. If you don't believe me, become a silent listener to the conversation of a group that is sitting around the lunch table at work or at school. Maybe just take a look at some of the comments that follow a social media post. If you want to get in a fight or get offended, you don't really have to look too far. If we don't put safeguards or a filter on conversations or our social media posts, they will inevitably go downhill. And as believers, it should be different when we're part of the conversation. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Let our speech be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that we may know how to answer each person. Salt changes the flavor of food and acts as a preservative. So too, our words should change the flavor of the conversation and prevent verbal decay. Maybe in this past heated political season, your words or posts may have hurt someone. Now we gotta ask ourselves, how can I share Christ with that person that I just verbally assaulted? Maybe we need to take time to make some amends. Yes, it's gonna be humbling, but uh, that's the first bridge that we need to cross and getting to share Christ with some people. And I know this year has been a tough one for all of us. We have no choice in the circumstances, but we do have a choice with our words. So let's use them wisely. Psalm 19 verse 14 says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord. And for that, we need help. So let's pray. Lord, we admit that our words have taken us places that we never intended to go. Please forgive us. Like the psalmist said, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Have a blessed day.